thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Sarah Janes from SoapSchool.com and today I wanted to show you how to make a very, very simple soap. With the coronavirus being widespread across the world, I know it's really, really difficult for a lot of people to get hold of soap and hand sanitizer. And actually, soap is the best thing that you can use right now. And if it's not something that you can get locally from your stores, you can make this at home really, really simply. And we're just gonna be using three ingredients, water, sodium hydroxide, and olive oil. So let's dive in and start making a traditional Castile soap. So I have a stainless steel pan. I'm just gonna pop it on some scales and I'm using just a regular olive oil. And it doesn't matter which you use, whether you use a pumice, whether you use an extra virgin, makes no difference at all to the soap that you're making. And pretty much everybody can find olive oil. It's fairly reasonably priced and it's certainly gonna make you a good amount of soap for a small amount of outlay. So I'm gonna put the recipe into the description box for you underneath. It's not gonna take you a massive amount of time and it's something that is just fun as well as being super practical right now. My daughter went to the supermarket and could not find any soaps any hand sanitizers, there's no toilet rolls, there's no kitchen roll, there is nothing. Even the, you know, the food products, the aisles are just empty. And I know it's a concern for everybody, especially as we know that it's only going to become more of an issue. And this certainly doesn't need to be much of an issue for you. It's something that you absolutely can make and within very little time you're going to have a usable product. Now the next thing is to just warm these oils up and we want to warm them up to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. While we're just warming those oils let's talk about the other part of the equation and that is the alkali that we need to transform these oils into soap. And all that we need for that is literally your sodium hydroxide. And you might see this in the stores referred to as caustic soda. It's exactly the same thing. So all we've done is to weigh out our water and then we add the caustic soda or the sodium hydroxide into the water and stir it until there are no more particles left and it has fully dissolved. And this has just been left to sit for about 20 minutes to cool down a little bit. Now, any time that you're making soap and using caustic materials, you must protect yourself. And that means wearing suitable eye protection, such as goggles, gloves, and a mask to protect yourself so that you're not breathing in any of those fumes. So I am currently with my oils at 102.7 degrees. Anything round about 100 is going to be absolutely perfect. And it's time for me now to add in my lye solution. So just quickly add that in, give it a good stir, and then pop this jug into the washing up sink. Make sure that that's washed up properly. And the mixture often goes cloudy at this point. It's absolutely normal. So you might be wondering why to use hand soap rather than a hand sanitizer during this corona crisis. And that's because the coronavirus has a lipid layer and that means it's basically a fatty layer on the outside of the virus. And the soap breaks down that lipid barrier and then kills the virus. It can't survive without that lipid layer. So hand washing is actually really, really beneficial and it's so easy to do. You just gotta make sure that you wash your hands thoroughly and you'll certainly be helping yourself and your family. So we've added in the lye solution now and I'm just gonna use a regular stick blender. You've probably got one of these at home. You might call it an immersion blender and we're just going to start mixing this up until the mixture starts to thicken. Now the good news is, even if you go a little bit too thick, it's not going to hurt it. You're actually better off going thick than too runny. And that's absolutely perfect now. 
So this is the stage that you add in any fragrance and essential oil if you want them to be in there. One of the things that you could do is to add in an additional antibacterial in the form of some of your essential oils, but they're not going to be fully effective on their own. So you could use something like tea tree, you could use lavender, but you know, for this to be effective, you do not need to use an essential oil at all or a fragrance oil, it's absolutely fine for it to have no scent at all and it will be just as effective. So the smell is optional. Don't rush out and think that you've got to spend a fortune on these ingredients because you don't. And then the final thing is literally just to pour all of that beautiful soap into our mould. If you have any left over, that can be poured into an individual mould. Now, what happens if you don't have a fancy soap mould? Don't worry, you can use so many different things. This is absolutely optional. You can use pretty much anything that you already have around your house. So if you've got some silicone baking trays, or some silicone cupcake bases, they will work just fine. This is literally just an ice cream tub, a paper ice cream tub, and that will also work absolutely perfectly. And we can also just pour the soap straight into there, and that will give us an individual bar. And you could make up several individual bars from this recipe, probably about seven bars worth, even from a half kilo recipe. And that's going to last you a long time in your family and lots and lots of great, simple hand washing. So now we just need to leave these for 24 hours before we pop them out of the moulds and then we're ready for cutting it into bars. What do you think? Do you think this is something that you could do at home? I know that you can and I don't want you to be worrying about all of the scaremongering that's out there. There's always a solution and these are things that you've probably already even got available right in your home or with easy access to them. And here is that beautiful soap all finished and ready for cutting. It looks so classic. Sometimes the most simplest and purest soaps are just the absolute best. Look at that, doesn't that look gorgeous? And that is literally just olive oil with the water and the sodium hydroxide. And here is our single bar that we made just using that paper ice cream cup. So really, you don't need to have expensive moulds. You can literally just use what you've got around and it's gonna work just fine for you. Let's just flip this over. I'm using a soap cutter, which is basically just a wire, like a cheese wire. You can do this just with a normal kitchen knife. So again, you do not have to have any fancy equipment to be making soap yourself if you are struggling to find it in the stores. And you'll see it's got a little bit of this breakage on the sides where we've cut. Just use your thumb and your finger just to run around the sides. You can even use a potato peeler, but this is a practical soap. We're not looking for points for beauty in this, although I think personally it's beautiful. And just cut each of those bars. Now this soap is still going to be a little bit soft because there's still a lot of water in the soap. It needs some time to dry out. But this soap is already perfectly functional. And with just a little bit of drying, So satisfying cutting through that soap. So you really do not have to have anything special at all. Just give this a, a little while to dry. If you don't give it some time to dry, the only problem you're going to have is that it washes away a little bit faster, but you have a beautifully serviceable soap here. And you know, that small amount that we made up is going to make us six really really nice sized bars so this is something that you can make up fast and know that you've got something if the worst case happens and you cannot find it in the shops i know that just yesterday 
even on the news they were saying there's a lot of places that haven't even got a basic bar of soap available at the moment and there's no need for that at all you should be able to get soap from a handmade soap maker or check out on Etsy or on some of the online stores because there truly are some incredible soap makers out there and the nice thing about handmade soap is it contains all of the natural glycerin which a lot of the commercial soaps strip out and if you're going to be washing your hands a lot it kind of makes sense to have a soap which is going to be a little bit more moisturizing and a little bit kinder to your hands so there we have our beautiful very very simple soap and i hope that you enjoy making yours.